Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Life Nuding. In this episode, I'm going to share um, the little bit of tweak that I did to the previous Life Nuding. Remember, um, we did um, like an array array modifier, and then we also study how you can do the array modifier inside Spreadshop. And instead of um, having the same objects being duplicated in the array, you can also okay start to play around with the different size of um, objects and then kind of stack stack them vertically to the top and then that's actually it leads to this point of course I always want to have uh, some kind of way to kind of quickly generate um, kind of like a torso like a torso of a figure okay um, here I, I have a bit of doodle that I did in the grease pencil and then here I have this uh, just few stack object I don't know if this is kind of enough. I actually I play around with it for a while and then I kind of think this is probably still still not enough, uh, still not good enough. Um, it depends for what you're doing, but this is this doesn't quite spark the imagination yet. Um, I actually base this on the, this old um, Japanese robot anime. Um, one of them is called Shogun Geta, but this is uh, there's a whole uh, like a robot design. Um, they they are famous. Uh, they they call it like Super Robot War, but these guys are I think it's really incredibles incredibles. They are they are really kind of basic simple. If you look at the the limbs and the arms, they are like super simple kind of robots, but they are actually nicely designed. And they they all have sim uh, like a similar kind of template, um, and there's one in particular. This Shogun Geta is uh, there are th these three robots that can kind of combine with one another and become another robot. And this guy especially, it's uh, it's a simplified toy version, but you can see that, like uh, random shapes, kind of build. Um, if you look at just the torso, it's probably can be simplified there's some kind of template but I like how the arms and then these guys have different legs and this guy have like uh, this kind of variation of arm and the leg is very interesting on this guy um, yeah this is actually the basis of my study in robot design I don't look at the like a real robot yet but uh, I like the anime robot it has some kind of uh, interesting design and especially if you look at a um, Gundam robot Gundam is another uh, design it's this guy is of course more um, it has more detail and it's got nice uh, ang angular and then I don't know what makes them so interesting they're kind of abstract looking as well Gundam is of course a more sophisticated robot design uh, more modern um, probably yeah, compared to of course what we have at the moment it's just like the box um, but I, I'm gonna kind of talk you through what's going on here I might share the note tree with you um, before we go too far there's also this uh, this kind of template that you you might actually learn if you ever learn like a figure drawing and do like love life drawing try to draw a character this is a really good um, example uh, where's where did I get this actually can I zoom in um, maybe post template open with review this is also very useful uh, let me find the source of this oh this is so low resolutions hmm but anyway this is showing you kind of like a um, simplified version of figure different kind of shape like a thinner like slim figure of female is more rounded male is like the opposite and then you also have this uh, angular angular male and then extremes like extreme character this is also really good to kind of understand uh, variations of torso 
there isn't there isn't actually much of it um uh, i might be wrong but if you make like a totally abstract like a like a cartoony or you know like um more like a if you want like a freely design a character you have all kind of variations you can actually use quite a bit of imagination here like a um, head and the body basically the head part the chest and then the, the hip the bottom part is actually the, the one that's uh, kind of seems to matter and if i draw it using hand it seems like with the head and then the chest and the and the torso uh, and the hips head chest and the hips there's if you put like in between like a smaller part it seems to have more kind of a uh, believability so like this 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 and then with it <clears throat> with something in between is more believable than simply just drawing a three objects this uh, this is like a snowman right but if you draw um, something in between it's starting to resemble human more um, so that's about torso that I could think of at the moment this stack object is pretty random you can kind of use imagination okay and kind of try to make up something based on this but maybe still not enough uh, but I'll show you what's uh, what kind of control we have at the moment gonna get rid of the grease pencil and then make this a bit bigger actually I can make this into like a 3d view so we have uh, we have this guy okay let's give it a like a map cap nice uh okay this i like this and then ambient occlusion and on it maybe a little bit and we can make this smaller timeline we don't need timeline at the moment actually we might need a timeline so um we can hide this so 3D timeline, okay. File, save as, save the new layout with the blend. Now, by using the arrow key, of course I get a different design and currently it's a bit thick, um, this torso and then it's also a bit too random and I don't know, maybe you can use this uh, somehow, but um, what we have here. I have two different way to visualize this. I actually have the cylinder and the box version. All cylinder and all boxes seems to be still kind of too basic. This is all cylinder. Actually, cylinder have uh, that top bottom kind of a uh, circular that we can adjust. Uh, you will see later, but we're gonna play around with box first. With this box, I have um, this control over uh, how wide this guy is. So this is the controlling the wideness, like the, this is like the thickness. <clears throat> so um, box width, height, and thickness, I guess. So this controlling the how tall the overall um, box is. Actually, this guy, this two thing, kind of controlling the wide wideness and the tallness um, of each and every boxes. So you can get some kind of variations and how random you want it to be let's say if I make this like super small like one you can see uh, okay maybe not this guy yet this is white but the tallness sometimes we get like a super super short uh, kind of box so here yeah, I'll show you in the wireframe So that thinness is being controlled by this guy. Currently, we only have four four boxes being stacked. That's because of uh, one of the number here. Um, box of cylinder. There's one. Okay, this guy. Count total number. How many you want? Of course, for like a torso, you don't need you don't need too many. Too many and started to look like. Okay, that's just a stack object, right? Nothing really interesting with that. But if you have like small number, like four or six or eight, maybe 
eight is already too much. Six, seven, six kind of give you, okay, your brain kind of can use some kind of imagination and okay, that's can be some kind of robot with that kind of design. They are all quite abstract though and they're pretty random. Um, maybe too random for our robot design, but you will see some interesting shapes sometimes, but they're, like I said, again, too random with a with a character design. You you can only have few variations unless you want to go real cartoony and you want to be really f like a free form in your robot design, then you can do that. So again, back to this thing, why this control, this is the maximum white and then this is the smallest you can have and not too much and this is the tallness of course I make this kind of thin but it's up to you if you wanna like have like more like a box like a fat one then that's no longer looking like a torso but just a little bit you know and we can use imagination for that So that's with the box. Um, actually, I also have this thing, um, special thing. Like, I kind of imagine if we actually start to add like something like a leg or arm, how how would it look? So I kind of kind of randomly pick um, which item we want to put the arm. One of this, uh, you know, you know. Because this design is pretty, um, pretty flexible. The whole thing is pretty flexible. Remember how we generate the stack of uh, matrix? Uh, we are basically selecting one of the matrix and then simply plug in the cylinder over there and then kind of imagine that thing as uh, kind of like an arm, maybe arm and legs. I don't know. I don't know where to put it yet. Maybe somewhere in the middle there. I think the hardest part is to have like a template that's uh, believable. There isn't much, you know, because you can't have. Sometimes you can't have robots that with the head that's too big and then the body is not proportionally correct. But but sometimes okay, this is kind of okay looking, right? You can control the arms and maybe okay. You can actually um, draw using grease pencil as well if I I need to reset my grease pencil currently it's too too weird where is it color display where is the other grease pencil setting so that that's a little bit too thick um, is that because of volumetric okay okay that's uh that can work for us. View, front, view, orthographic. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this and then make a new one. So of course, I don't know how realistic you want the robot to be, but I just make like a little bit of arm. I wonder if this is gonna be a leg or kind of like a wheel kind of robot. Have a bit of eyes. I know this is one design, right? And then the next one, okay. This is kind of robot that looks a bit like this. I don't know if you want to have like a leg, but you can always switch back, you know. And you have another one, okay. I don't know. Maybe this robot have three eyes. It looks very alien. This looks like a very really old kind of robot in the 1930s kind of movies but uh, yeah this might be okay but it depends on what you're doing you don't want the robot to be too basic like this so that's if you're using this pencil um, the next one I want, if I hide the blue thing if we actually switch to the cylinder I'll show you it's totally different. It gives you a different kind of result. Cylinder, of course, a little bit more rounded. Is it box or cylinder? I have this uh, frame, cylinder, box, and the data piping into switch, so I can switch between the two. Now I have cylinder, 
with cylinder I need to tweak this uh, wide and height so with the cylinder if I am actually making variations on the top and the bottom circle I'm getting a lot of this uh, shape that looks like uh, maybe more feminine or more oriental somehow so this is uh, yeah like this guy they are sometimes they just look like a lamp but if you kind of imagine okay there this shapes variations of top and bottom kind of give something more if I if I make the top and bottom the same of course they become just a cylinder uh, with a, it's currently too flat maybe I have to make that like that um, cylinder give different kind of look not sure if this is better or not but it's um, definitely different maybe I need to combine the box and the cylinder and maybe add um, like a sphere or I icosphere as well yeah so this is the cylinder version of course we still have control over the, the resolution of the cylinder cylinder how many see maybe 12 make it more rounded or more the height this is the overall height subdivision oh, oh yeah by the way currently I don't have any kind of uh, details in between of this I'm only just kind of kind of randomizing the top and the bottom like that you know like I said this is kind of a little bit more oriental sometimes it's totally out of shape but this is probably like too many um, too many stack maybe four or three even better sometimes less is more like this this can be if you imagine that's a torso okay uh, let me try to draw something front orthographic with a grease pencil let's see and this guy okay if we put a head there for the arm just keep it simple leg that's one that's another one I found that proportion uh, is a hard part maybe maybe I don't design it like this maybe I don't put the head on top like that maybe this guy is actually the head and this is the torso it's starting to look a little bit more believable maybe depends on what you're doing really so that's uh, another little robot this is um yeah this is can be this can work of course they are like you know <laughs> pretty simplistic little robot but you can of course I don't know design design it real quick the arm and the legs can also be procedural I have not gone there yet but Currently, it's still kind of a um, work in progress. I don't know. Maybe, maybe having some kind of template is better. Some kind of proportion, and this way you can design kind of more believable character. But this is, can be a kind of some kind of start. You can be very, very uh, imaginative with this. I don't want to give all the control to all this procedural stuff. You see, I always like this kind of ability of Blender Grease Pencil, you know, to just freely draw something on top of the 3D objects. Because your work doesn't stop there, and this gives a lot of freedom. Um, maybe I don't know maybe this is kind of like a crab looking robot they're all pretty alien there seem to be like unlimited variations in it of course um, one 
thing though that I actually tried this guy like I said this um, at the moment I only have like a simple shape whether they're like cylinder upside down cylinder I have not experiment with uh, like a mo multiple shape yet maybe I think this kind of shape is more interesting but this is also still kind of basic I have not used noise or anything to kind of reshape um, the robot but if I am kind of thinking something more abstract um, I have an example here somewhere okay this is more abstract and I just made this earlier um, before um, okay I couldn't see it maybe you can just go to my YouTube channel and it's a um, the idea is to use uh, a little bit more abstract kind of um, design and then kind of mirror the design I I remember I did this at some point with a um, with a skin modifier and three kind of algorithm and then try to make like symmetry of objects and that kind of trigger more abstract um, design and you can have more like an imagination of what the actual design is gonna be I'll show you a quick one sorry about the slowness of Chrome okay this guy demo super abstract origami robot I make like 2000 frames and run it in two frame per second actually uh, I forgot I have the blend file here okay here we go this is I something that I made really quickly but this guy give you like a more abstract pattern I basically I have like a plane and then I kind of randomize the plane some of them is taller some of them is shorter and I just randomize it you know some but this guy give kind of a design that's I think our brain look at it and then it seems to be like a it looks like insects or something I don't know this can be like a head you know like a chest or because this is using the symmetry and um, I use like random value I have not used noise this is like not a proper design this is like super basic but you can kind of get a more interesting result compared to like the previous stack object see see it like this wait a minute what are you doing YouTube ads sorry about the ads need to have the ads in order to keep this uh, YouTube channel going so anyway this is an uh, example just two, 2000 frames just a quick render of this design um, I might share this with you too at some point but yeah this is see see this kind of give you like a like a robot design already this is quite interesting I have a feeling that this also resemble kind of insects that curl curl up it's not open up but this if you look carefully and this gives you unlimited design of uh, like an abstract looking robot I I really want to print this out at some point I don't know maybe if I can find a local 3d printer but see that's design is resembling like a robot too you have 1000 or 10,000 of this and then suddenly you have like lots of interesting design so this is another just another war another way you can approach this this is of course too abstract and a lot of overlapping geometry mesh whatever it's not it's not like a complete design but I think design to have one design that works is uh, it's a hard and kind of if you find one that you like and then you kind of work on that but to have like kind of system that can unlimitedly design like a robot or like a kind of like a ship airship 
is uh is harder i don't know because this is like totally free form it's like graffiti you know i can call it even like graffiti robot but it's like origami i'm sure that um with a like anime robot design um also based on sometimes based on insects um but yeah there you go this this is like unlimited design i can just continue forever and you get all kind of robot pattern sometimes you do have something like look looking like a real robot sometimes looks looking like dart Vader. sometimes just looking like maybe even like a gundam but yeah i think if i can okay i can draw using grease pencil so so we start with a you know just a stack of object proportion is a tricky part but basically we need to have a head a chest and a hip the 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 legs and then whatever are coming out from the body that's also something to think about um, however this simple shape is not enough but once we have some kind add some kind of noise we get something like that but not too abstract you know but this is kind of an idea that you can explore I found that each one of a setup give you some kind of style it's not a finished product but it's a it's something it's a it's becoming like a new kind of language if we can have like a system like an um, L system but for like a bipedal characters or like insects that that might be something you know I still have to do a bit of research what are we really creating here it's a um, I don't know you know like like I say I look at the Japanese character design here and with a with a shogun shogun gather there is one point that's where the character is kind of separated and combined together into a single character that's interesting that's a, see when we are designing character like I said the head the chest and the bottom uh, the hips part we can be we can have a lot of freedom there and then just adding an armor um, and then the in between part kind of adding additional part kind of make the robot design a little bit better a little bit more believable um, you, you, we are not stuck with a like a like a sphere or just boxes we can combine them together as well so if we have like this is better this is also better than uh, just boxes so combine combining the two I think is a uh, is the next step to do what we have here is uh, too abstract this is but this is also something to add on top of that so if we have see this is more like like a super cool robot compared to the simplified looking robot so this is also more interesting but again proportion is a hard part to control here head chest and a hip this is very very important for the design okay so that's pretty much it for this live noting video thanks again for tuning in to this one sorry i talk a lot in this one but yeah it's a just sharing my work in progress um, robot character design or whatever creature design um, hopefully you like this let me know your um, suggestion or any comments just let me know any question as well I'll see you in the next video